21 hours, 47 minutes. Hey, welcome to uh, this uh, shortwave radio channel, and um, just to talk a little bit about uh, the uh, latest release. So, of course, if you have an SDR Play device, SDR Play RSP1, RSP1B, RSP uh, DX, and so on, um, the uh, guys at SDR Play are, of course, working on a new version of the software that controls the devices. And they're calling it SDR Connect. So most of you are probably still using SDR Uno. SDR Connect, uh, the reason for its existence is multiple. One of them is brand new, fresh interface changes to the way it works. But also multi-platform, which is a very, very good idea. So you'll have the ability to run an SDR Play device with the SDR Connect, whether you're using Linux, Mac, and Windows, and from what I hear, maybe even Android and so on. So, uh, of course, they've been releasing previews, which are test versions, if you want, of the software in the past uh, months. Now, lately, in the past uh, week or two, they have released the Preview 5, and I've, of course, installed it, played around with it, because I still, uh, from the previous versions, I, s I was mostly going back to SDR Uno, which I prefer. I have to say, with the Preview 5, they added features and they made things that uh, is slowly making me like the uh, Preview, the SDR Connect software. Uh, including the fact that the panel here in the center has a lot of options. You just go scroll through, get your option that you want to have, and so on. Uh, you need noise reduction, turn it on. Then you get the noise reduction feature for uh, the software, and then you can play with the threshold of the... So here you just have to play with the noise reduction feature to uh, em enhance it. Uh, so lots of interesting stuff um, in here. I, I like the layout. Um, I'm still, and that's probably what is the biggest problem for a lot of us moving from SDR Uno. I'm still in the mode of um, searching for everything because it's totally different. So that's the biggest learn curve, you know, a learning curve for this. Uh, and already SDR Uno is a learning curve for a lot of people. Um, SDR Connect is a another step in trying to learn how to use software. Um, so I will continue checking out the different software. I will be probably using alternating from, you know, both the SDR Connect and SDR Uno, depending on what I do. But um, for now, it's, it seems to be going in the, a, a nice direction. It's um, using a little more power than SDR, Connect, SDR Uno. Uh, SDR Uno is really has a small footprint on a PC. I hope they can maybe make this a little better. Um, also make it better for maybe trying to change things around. Like, for example, this window, I want to have it full screen. And uh, so I'll have to check out how to do it because uh, I want to have as much waterfall as possible. But uh, overall, overall, it's kind of cool. And um, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun to... Uh, uh, with it for sure. So uh, I think the multi um, having a, a you know multi platform is really really good, and uh, just hope that um, the software itself will have tons of interesting features and and um, you know what makes an SDR an SDR. It's not just the visuals, but it's also the fact that you can do what you want with it. Uh, this it's limited to 
almost just a software having the features that you want. So SDR Connect Preview 5 is available. I'll post a link to the page where you can download it on their SDR Play website. Go and check it out if you have an SDR Play device. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.